It's trying to move it. But where? Why? Oh, look, it's trying to move it. No, it's a rodent type thing. Huh. I'm looking at the twas of it. Okay. Look at it move. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, like a little bowl or something. Oh, my God, it's like a shrew. I'm yeah, looking it at is its, a shrew, right? I'm looking at its mouth right now. Oh, and look at the t hand twas. I know, I see the hand twas. Oh, that's actually a mole. That's a good eye that you saw that. Ooh, it's got some mites on it. The um the beetle mm -hmm. has some parasites on it. Wow. The mites are symbiotic. The burying beetle gives them a free ride to a food source that will feed both sets of young. The young mites eat any fly eggs and larvae that were laid before the carcass is buried. This ensures that the beetle larvae will not in turn be eaten by the flies. Parasites are moving. They're getting scared. Oh my God, look at them. They're like going crazy. See that? Oh, wow. This is a frustrated beetle. It cannot find soft ground anywhere nearby because somehow this carcass of a mole shrew ended up in the middle of an old logging road, crushed very hard gravel, and true to its name, a burying beetle needs to be able to bury its prey. It needs to bury the carcass, and it goes under it, and it needs to be able to find soft enough soil or sand in order to get the carcass down and then cover it. Well, there's a mite. There's one of the orange mites that got knocked off of the beetle. On, oh my God. What an incredibly strong beetle. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the fly the on flies its back. on the beetle.
By this time I had realized that this was not just any old carrion beetle. This was a burying beetle. And this is a episode of a lifetime to be able to catch this in the wild, if you're a naturalist like I am. And so what I realized is I needed to carry uh, the mold shrew, the carcass, off to the edge of the road and to find a spot where I could dig a little bit to make sure I got down to sand or soil that the burying beetle could then continue and actually bury the carcass. And so here you can see me as I'm starting to dig. The next day I returned and clearly the carcass had been covered not just with soil but a lot of leaf litter as well. Now let's hear what I had to say. I love the work there now. Yeah, burying beetle. Look at you. Your mate already went under. Let's see what your responsibility is. Well, they've buried the shrew. I'll wait here a little bit. Oh, here. It's coming out from the... Oh, look at that. See the vegetation move? Yeah, there it is. It's taking care of household chores. Look at you. You must be the female because that's different markings than the one I saw yesterday. You're just hanging out there. And you'll have your little tunnel in the sand you've already dug. And then here's here's the hole that I created and had the shrew and you could see the whole shrew and now it's all covered up. There is a god and her name is Connie rescued you from a place where you could not build the underground crypt lined with rodent fur laying your eggs alongside and then helping feed the babies and guarding them but look at you oh. on the move Look at that, you've dug a nice little tunnel under there. You're so happy. I'm so glad I knew enough. I, I, I read Wikipedia afterwards. and Thank goodness I read enough to know that you really needed to bury that body. And what a perfect spot. One more thing about burying beetles. Well, I'm pretty sure they need to find a carrion that they can bury in order to be able to lay eggs and nurture their larvae into the nymph and adult stage. What do they do just for eating when they're not doing reproduction? Well, I've actually seen them. Here's a picture taken in North Carolina. Looks Pretty much the same as the California one, but much larger orange on it. So this is an eastern USA burying beetle eating fungus. Here's a companion that's joining it. This is the mountains of North Carolina. Now, I've probably seen other instances of burying beetles eating fungus before, but I really paid attention to this one in Michigan in 2018, summer 2018. Look at all the different kinds of beetles on here. Carrion beetles, I'm not sure how many of them are burying beetles. I actually discovered this site because one evening I was walking back to the house and I smelled, it smelled like something dead. And it was coming out from underneath the lilacs, so I looked and here is this giant mushroom. I'd never seen anything like this before. Uh, very strong smelling. And you can see in this photograph uh, that there's actually a fly on it that previous evening. But then, two days later, 
the fungus had really started to decompose, and by then, that's when all these beetles showed up. Take a close look for mites on the backs of some of these. So that's it for the wonders of burying beetles, especially the one I got to see doing the actual burying of a carcass along the northern coast of California. <laughs>